Uh, good morning, everyone. Yeah, very good morning. Are you able to hear me right now? Yeah, there was some technical difficulties. That, yeah, that has rectified. So let's start with the next part. That is the order form. This will be saved in a shopping list named the order. This is the order.cfm. CF site order. Uh, yes, this order.cfm is like a comment that is not executed by the compiler, but it only shows that this is for the user friendly. Then CF set order H1. Phone color is blue. Phone H1 will be closed. Then P. Please mark the items you want to buy. P will be closed. As it is, it is printed in the paragraph. Then form action is yeah this line is used to create a form action is the sum dot cfm method is a post then input type is checkbox name is the order value is 150 and the market research is 150 dollars in the same way there is a p tag but again there is a checkbox again the value same name is same but the we can say the uh, Content that is displayed is different, that is opinion for. Then input type, checkbox, name is order, value is 300, perception in investigation. Then again there is a checkbox, order, uh, value is 200, search engine that will be displayed as it is with the 200 dollars. Then next checkbox is the value and the name and the net cost that include the 350 dollars. Then again, next checkbox that is that is the order and the value is 250. Shop is 250 dollars. These are the six checkboxes. One is the market research, opinion poll, perception investigation, search engine, net course. Then show. Uh, last one is the web agent that is for the 150 dollars. So this includes each and everything. That means we are creating a checkboxes in the form, and at last the select will be closed. Then we use the submit button, we created a submit button, that type is submit and the value is the order. Then the form will be closed. When the above form is submitted out, the control is directly transferred to the sum.cfm template. And there are some new CFML template feature that is introduced. That includes the array of the items. Array of the item means collection of the item in the call fusion that will be arranged up to the three dimensions. And one great advantage with the CFMX array is that the size, that is the number of the rows and the columns is not required specified. But is determined dynamically. In the same way, the shopping list from the form is also transferred to the array by means of the function. That function is a list to array. And it is more conveniently than a list. Then in a CF output block, the value of the variable total is computed in a CF loop. Next is a sum dot CFM. CF set total is zero. CF set items is the array new one. CF set items list to array order. CF output for the display, then CF loop from one to the list line. Then there is a P, CF set, total items, count, total P. Total will be given, uh, displayed as an item, then there is a count, and then there is a total number, and the P will be uh, closed. Then CF loop will be closed, and the CF output will be closed. The next outputs, you have ordered the producer or products for the total CF output. Then session dot total is again the total. So please return your credential or credit card information. Then action is the sales dot CFM. P, card type is again there is a P, then slash P, that closed. The input type is radio. Name is the card type, value is a visa. Then again there is a radio button, card type, value is a MasterCard and the a display information is a MasterCard. Then input type radio, again there is a name that will be displayed with the American Express. Then input type text, well, validate or the value is basically credit card, name is given over here, expiry date. So these will be the text boxes and the radio buttons. 
first there are a few radio buttons for the Visa, MasterCard and the American Express and there will be a um, text boxes. For the credit card number, expiry date and the submit orders. This is a sorry, this is the last final button. And the remaining of the template specify a form for the customer to specify the credit card type. In this form, we are using the CF form that is used to be able to check the queries, check the processing. This is given you have ordered the products for rupees dollars. Please return your credit card information. Card type is Visa, MasterCard, American Express. Then card number, expired date, submit order. And then payment form. So this will be included. This will be used to validate the credit card checks. That 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 will be uh, submitted. That will be partially submitted or partially executed with the correct number. Next part is purchasing products. So we shall need a second database table sales. This must be defined with the following three columns. One is a customer ID. One is a total. Then there is an update, D date. And we assume that all are specified as a text type. And uh, we also assume or submit the shopping list and the credit card information that, that establish a purchase. And the task of the template that is a sales.cfm is to process the purchase. Now the next part is sales for CFM that includes the date format now, that includes the inside into statement, that includes the transaction, including each and every file that must be specified with the transactions. Customer identification, total number of the transactions, and the date is booked also in the data source. So this is the session dot data source by a CF query tag with the SQL insert in. This sales.csm, this will be included with the D date, date format now, then CF query, name is sales, data source is the session date data source, then insert into the six, we are getting the values, we are getting the into the into the table, that is the sales, customer ID, total D date, then what is the value, first, first, customer ID contains the session, customer ID, then total contains the session dot total, then D date contains for D dot then CF query will be closed, CF output will be opened for the output. P, sales for the customer number, session dot customer ID has been processed. CF output will be closed. Then P for the printing, print out a result. This template that sends a message in which the transaction has been processed and also offered a printout of the result. This is a receipt dot CFM. Then CF query, data source, session dot data source, name will just it. Then select the first name, last name, street, city, state, country, zip from the customers, where the customer ID is session dot customer ID. So this will be available within the data that includes the customer ID, last name, street, city, state. Then the query will be closed. Then H1, font, color is blue, software show, font will be closed. Then H1 will be closed. Then CF output, query is again the recept, P, B, first name, last name, B will be closed, P will be closed. Then again there is a street, B will be closed, P will be closed. Then city, B will be closed, P will be closed. Again there is a street. So these are the various, we can say the uh, part of the page form that will be included within the B and the P. So we have changed or we have charged your account with the B session dot total for the product sent to you. Thank you for writing your products. Then CF output will be closed and ne next we are using the hyperlink AHREF anchor hyper reference list dot CFM yes end dot CFM return A to the product page. So output receipt is also illustrated over here. Then there is a software shop when not written. Brick Bacon, 11A, Paradise, Norway, and the same. So we have charged your account with $150 for the product sent to you. So this is how we can return, how we can order the products.
and software shop is given in the H1 that's why it is displayed much much more bigger than the normal phone then there is a beta for the boy then paradise Norway zip so we are charged your account with the 150 for the items products and by you this is the purchase receipt and to be real functional application an agreement has to be signed with the credit card company and a connection established with the company this will be occupied this will be carried out with the data type list in the array these data types are also included in the CFML promotions. So copy the template and rewrite them to your favorite business idea. Complete and explain the surrounding pages. So we use the data types list and the array that will be contained in the RVB that will be used to make the complex data types included in the CFML promotions. Copy the template, rewrite them for your favorite business idea. Complete and explain the surrounding. So this will be given for the software page for the software products. Let's send a message that the transaction has been processed and it will be occupied. That offers a printout of the receipt also. This is a receipt.cfm query data source session dot data source. Select the first name, last name, street, city, state, country, zip from the customers. So the, these items, these fields will be taken out from the customers where the customer ID is equal to the session dot customer ID. We can say that this query will be used to fetch the records to the selected fields for what I am telling you. That is the first name, last name, street, city, state, country. But the main thing is that it is used with the phone color as a blue software show. Output is given as a receipt in the first name, last name. Data source will be occupied, specified as a date format, date time format, insert into statements, purchasing products, validate the content, payment forms we have discussed, with the P form, input type radio, card type, MasterCard, Visa that returns with the credit card information, total, session dot total, array with the new list. And the variable that is computed out in a CF loop. And this is defined with the array of the items. With the three dimensions with the number of the rows and the column that is not required specified. But is determined dynamically with the shopping list with the transfer order. To the array by means of the function that is a list to array. This template will be recorded with the following data, first name, last name, street, city, state, country and the zip by means of the CF output. With the CFF, with the title, with the street number, everything that is available over here with HTML form. With the customer data with the consumer form, customer form
these are available as a CFF and the blocks should be given in the customer data. Now, next part is CF output that will be displayed with the query equals to retrieve with the block that is given with one or more sets of value data for the email address submitted over here and finally if the customer accepts the display data control is transferred to the template order.cf and note that the email that the hash email hash is used as the customer identification so are the about data correct yes or no this will be recorded with the following forms first name last name street city state where the email address is given as a submitted email usually one row is selected over here that will be contained with the new customers and street city state country zip will be available with the td and inside into the customers first name last name street city country values values contains again the same value First name contains a first name, last name is a last name. That will be used to update the customers with the data about the customer if it's new or not. 